two, one. You know I'm back, like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step. Second another step. Another day, another breath. Another breath. Been chasing dreams, but I never... Okay, so to give a little backstory, I'm just sort of doing this to say a bit about the life of an age group at one of these events. I mean, it's my first time, so I'm probably not the best reference, but just sort of want to make a good time of it, record it for myself, and hopefully make it quite funny and interesting. Um... on guys we've just arrived to Barcelo Punta Umbria Resort and it is not disappointing look at that so bikes arrived everyone's buzzing it's a well happy time let's get unpacking I did say I wasn't gonna ride today but People are out, people are flying, and I can't resist not. So, let's take the bad boy for a spin. No idea. That's so cool. We're out checking out the bike course. We've got Pierre here, the old EU Tri Club alumni. And we've got the fastest TT bike I have ever seen. It's looking really flat, looks fun, and I'm absolutely hyped for the weekend. So, catch you in a minute. Really? That's so cool. But yeah, we've just arrived. Uh, likely gonna go jump in the pool next, have like a little ice bath as as the heating isn't on apparently. Um, yeah, so the plan of action for tonight is it's now, ooh, it's now nearly three o'clock. Um, I have plenty of time to unpack and unwind. Um, and so five o'clock, we've got the GB team briefing. Um, and then 6.30 is an opening ceremony where there's worth going to apparently because of free drinks and free food. So I'll join you back when we're at those events. All right, catch them up. day two I have to say I'm sorry but I literally completely wiped out last night after the um, sort of party dinner god knows what it was called really but um, yeah it's currently about nine degrees 8 a.m. we've got the um, sprint race starting at 9 a.m. Um, so yeah I'm gonna quickly head down to breakfast um, yeah my plan for the day was uh, we'll hit breakfast now um, do a little sort of jog some strides maybe um, foot catch some of the action of the sprint race while we do that uh, maybe jog down to the beach um, come back to resort and I've got a bit of work to do unfortunately yeah and then we'll get lunch and then this evening there's the elite race so we've got the Brownlee or Alistair Brownlee racing some other professionals and we'll see see the pros in action which is going to be awesome so yeah, I'll catch up breakfast again
jog wise I'm doing sort of 7, 8k I'm going to stop by the beach and the seafront in the middle do some strides do some chills on the beach and in the meantime I'm just going to get screaming for these GB athletes so yeah, see you in the middle with the actions up <laughs> Okay, so key part of this weekend is going to be race day. And so the prep I've got to do, we're going to put on the tattoos tonight. We're going to whack on all the bike stickers, helmet stickers, and that sort of stuff. But the one thing I have realized is that I've still got my slow puncture on the back. So this was pumped up about six hours ago, and it's down from about 110 to 45 PSI. And so, it's going to be a fun race day, we'll see. I'm going to pump it up as hard as I can and hope for the best, basically. But It's now Sunday, which is the age group standard distance day. Um, it's half five in the morning, so it's a nice early start. Breakfast is about to open. Um, so yeah, we start, my wave starts at 9.23, just after the power triathlon. Um, should take a couple hours, hoping about that sort of time. I'll bring you guys into transition and that sort of stuff and then it'll be after the race I see you because I'm not going to be focused on a GoPro during that time. So yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Conveniently, we're right by a fat pole, which isn't good for transition, but at least it'll be easy to find. Um, yeah, bikers. Okay, so we're into bag drop. Those final bits before we put our kit off, strip into the GB stuff, and get ready. So, this is. This is the aspect area, and yeah, so I'll see you on the other side. Go time. absolute insanity so just crossed the line in second in my age group which is awesome overtook a couple of guys in the last run sick day out absolutely awesome course um, can't wait to get a point See you in Just, it was a, such an incredible race to be a part of. Um, and then yeah, I came in second um, in my category and second in our wave, which was un completely unexpected, but I'm genuinely so buzzing. Um, yeah, so European Champs 2020 have gone pretty well. Um, first ever event out here, I had no idea what to expect. And hopefully this is just sort of giving you guys an idea of what an age group weekend looks like. Um, and this evening we've got the award ceremony where I pick up my medal and um, a closing ceremony party, I think, which apparently is going to be quite good in Spain. Apparently they're very good at their um, 
after parties at these events. So yeah, I'll catch you up at the opening ceremony and then yeah. As I said before, we're now heading down to that uh, sort of award ceremony and closing ceremony party bit. Hopefully it'll be a really nice night. I've basically been whitewashed for the day. <laughs> um, I didn't make it to the beach. I went, I dipped my legs in the pool for a bit and just absolutely bonked out. Like, didn't realize how hard an effort it was this morning, but just goes to show what an insane event it is. Um, yeah, excited. It's been a great day, such a nice trip. And I'm just really happy that, yeah, really happy to have done so well. So catch it in the closing time, but.